Jen and Boomy, or both, are you prepared to take the Zombie Inspiration Fast Question Challenge? That's a yes. Ha! Have some double yes! Jen and Boomy, this is your Zombie Inspiration Fast Question Challenge. Question number one. Do you have a plan in place for the zombie apocalypse? Well, who doesn't have a plan in place for the zombie apocalypse? Because that's going to happen soon. Yeah, so yes, it is. we're going to go and we're going to dive under the ocean to find yes. a big underwater cave and live with dolphins for the rest of the zombie apocalypse. Ah, oh, awesome! Under the sea! Under the sea! <laughs> now, Jen and Boomy, you're living in this underwater cave and zombies have taken over the world. You can only have three things to have with you, what would they be? That's a great question. What could we Thank do without Boomy? Monopoly. We love to play Monopoly. Okay. We'd like to take a magic chest that was that was you know had a spell on it by Harry Potter, and when you open the chest, oh, everything you ever wanted awesome. to ever came out. Yes. And we'd like to have a piano because we like to sing okay. songs. Oh, I love it. I love it. I want to come and live there. Have fun. <laughs> yes, lots of fun. Now you're in that cave. Zombies have taken over the world. You can have three famous people to live with you. Who would they be? Oh, well, we'd like to take the Wizard of Oz. Okay. It's quite magical. Yes. And we'd like to take Bugs Bunny because everybody needs a good rabbit in their life, right? Yes, and, and Bugs is the best. We'd like to take, well, have you heard of the famous Frid from Nantucket? I have not. We'd like to take him too. Okay, cool. Now, what would smell worse, a zombie or an author working five days straight on a deadline? What do you reckon? Well, zombie think, I mean, zombie Boomy <laughs> thinks the authors, but I definitely think they're zombies. Yes, I'm with you, I'm with you. Now, Jen or Boomy or both, would you kiss a zombie? Oh, Boomy would kiss a zombie if it was a zombie cat. zombie if he had a hula hoop because I love hula hoops because hula hoops are awesome <laughs> now you wrote a book about a farting T-Rex called Tri Z where his farts the reason that the dinosaurs became extinct how did you know that is the absolute truth all the history books got it wrong yeah huh? definitely I knew it now were his farts because he was on the paleo diet of course. <laughs> Everyone who eats a paleo diet has really cool smelling farts. Yes. But they smell they smell like bananas. So they're really, oh, really delicious. Awesome. Love bananas. Did you know Santa's farts smell like blueberry muffin? Ho ho. <laughs> ah, smells good. I did actually. <laughs> I thought you might. <laughs> now, if you saw a woolly mammoth zombie, would you pat it? Would you eat it? Or would you run away screaming like a crazy person? Oh, what would we do, baby? Well, could we milk it? Can but we milk sure. zombie things like that? I, I guess so, if it's a girl. Well, we do that and then we'd run away screaming. Okay. <laughs> Good, but with a glass of milk. <laughs> Hello. Jen, if a zombie's about to bite your face off, what would your last words be? Um, super color fragilistic, go to the toilet and wipe it off. <laughs> very practical and confusing. <laughs> now, Jen, can you please do your very best zombie impersonation? <laughs> I love it, it's so awesome. Thank you so much for joining us on Stay safe in the zombie apocalypse and you know, good luck in the underwater cave.